Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at questions, multiple choice questions and basically from physics and maths and right now we will be considering the topic linear algebra. Today's question is about rho echelon form. So you have been shown four matrices and you need to answer which one of them or rather identify which one of them is in rho echelon form. Now we had long back learnt about rho echelon form. If you have forgotten it, let's have a quick look at it. So we know that rho echelon form of a matrix, it's used for solving linear system of equations and um, finding a rank of the matrix etc. And basically we do rho operations, Gaussian elimination to get the matrix that we are looking for, the rho echelon form. Sometimes it's also called as echelon form. Now there need to be the basic properties that all the zero rows have to be at the bottom of the matrix. The first non-zero entry in each row, it's usually called the leading entry, has to be to the right of the leading entry in the row above it and all elements below a leading entry need to be zero. So all these three things should be satisfied. Let's go back to the question. So the question about all the entries being zero. You can see that in matrix shown in the option B as well as C. You have all the rows, you have one row which contains all the, ent all the entries as zero. But in option B, it's somewhere at the middle. It's not at the lowest position. So B is of course ruled out. So B is not a row echelon form. Then which other condition was there? So we have seen the first condition. In the second condition, the first non-zero entry in each row has to be to the right of the leading entry in the row above it. And the last one is all elements below leading entry need to be zero. Let's go back to the question. Now if you see in the first case where 1 is leading but 3 and minus 2, they are non-zero entries. So again A is also ruled out. Also you can see here that in mat the, the option D, there is a non-zero entry here. So this is also ruled out and it's also even if you say it's the leading entry of row 3, it has to be to the right instead it is to the left. So option D is also ruled out. Lastly we are left with option C and let's check whether it satisfies all the conditions necessary. So yes, the rows which were containing only zeros they are right below also you can see that the leading entry here is 1 here it is 7 so 7 is to the right of 1 so that is also satisfied and all the entries below the leading entry that means these two they are 0 so all the entries below 1 the leading entry are 0 and also here you can see that the entry below 7 is also 0. So C satisfies all the condition and hence the answer you will see is basically matrix given by option C. Thank you.